Well, I think there's going to be a big focus on Syria. And what I really hope is that the humanitarian consequences of this uh, conflict, uh, particularly the impact it's having on children, on uh, women, on uh, ordinary uh, men in the country, and the number of people who have fled as refugees, that it continues to be recognized. At the moment, we're talking about the whole chemical weapons issue. It's important that that is addressed. Uh, it's important that we maintain the pressure to get a political solution. But these uh, humanitarian issues and the human rights abuses that are really spiraling out of control inside Syria, we need our political leaders to address those as well. Well, I was there. Uh, whilst all the issues around chemical weapons were bubbling up when people weren't sure whether there would be military action or not. So the mood was very uh, uncertain. People were very uh, fearful. Uh, there was a lot of concern, particularly in Lebanon and Jordan, which I visited as well, about uh, rising numbers of refugees and the difficulties that their communities would have uh, in coping uh, with that. Uh, and I think also, a concern that uh, this is a crisis with a very human face and that that was being forgotten by the world. I very much hope that uh, the government will do what they have said that they will do, that they will simplify uh, the procedures to make our job easier so that we can be more effective and so that we can reach the people that urgently need our help.